He wakes up. Am I awake? He asks himself. I must be awake because she is not here. He rises. He dresses to leave the darkness of his home to the darkness of the world outside. Always dark. For years it has been this way. He rises at dark to go to work in the dark, in the soundproof, lightproof room where people come to watch stories made of light that play out on silver screens. It wasn't always this way. Once there was light. Once there was love, he tells himself. But I screwed it up a long time ago. Those days are gone. The only way to get back to that time is to go to the doctor. The doctor has the power to send people through time. But the doctor has rules. Only once a week. And you paid up front. The usual dose, the usual time. As usual, the doctor went about his business and leaves the man to travel. It comes with a rush, but starts slowly. Almost there. Almost there. He remembers a day when he and this woman who haunts his dreams went out west. It rained all day, but that didn't seem to matter. He remembers how the droplets added grace to the autumn trees. He remembers the path where they lost themselves in the woods. He relives all of these things without her. Home, the cave where he sleeps. How long had it been since the light was on? He doesn't know. better with the light off. Back to work. How long had he lived like this? Endless night in the dark theater or abandoned streets. Without her, time had no meaning. The doctor was not expecting him. This was breaking the rules. He pleaded. He said that he was the doctor's best client for years. This was true. He could pay, but he wanted a bigger dose. This the doctor didn't like, but he eventually agreed. Just this once. This time it was stronger. He could feel it. He was going back, but he couldn't see anything. And then, suddenly, she was there. This was the trip. The trip when they went to the national parks out west. They walk. They talk. They laugh about nothing in particular. <laughs> this time he had made it all the way back. <laughs> this time, maybe, just maybe, he could stay. Time slowed. Or was he just noticing its passage? He couldn't tell whether he was moving, or merely experiencing a series of happy moments at the speed he desired. But at the same time, he couldn't help but feel that something was wrong. Cartwheels in the wet leaves. Wake up! Wake up! No. Not now. He would not leave this moment for the dark future he knew awaited. He wasn't going back. He couldn't. He had already left. <laughs>